out of all my tooth doctors and doctresses, welcome to the premiere of the Tooth Factory, where we serve to create your journey through dentistry knowledgeable, fun, and creative. Are you having a hard time remembering those topics right before an exam? Do you go through a nervous breakdown during an exam when you can't remember those small, minute details of a topic? Are you having a hard time, a difficult time, a challenging time trying to crack the National Dental Examination Board of Canada? Well, you're at the right spot at the right time. Here at the factory, we manufacture the following short dental lessons, exam cracking topics, hard to remember subjects, the National Dental Examination Board preparations of Canada. And for bonus, we give out a free set of notes for you to print, keep, and read. So, Without taking much of your time, let's dive into the frontiers of dentistry with our first lesson, Basics and Dental Anatomy. I hope you like it, learn lots, and keep brushing. Welcome to the Tooth Factory presents Basic Terms and Dental Anatomy, Episode 1. Let's start with the definitions today. What is a dentition? Dentitions are the arrangements of natural teeth or arrangements of artificial teeth such as dentures. There are two, deciduous and permanent over a lifetime. Number two, what is a dental arch? It is a part of the jaw which gives attachment to the roots of the teeth. Therefore, there are two jaws, upper and lower or maxillary and mandibular. Number three, what are quadrants? They are representing sections of one side of a jaw, either maxillary or mandibular, hence upper or lower left and right. It is the geographic locations of teeth in the oral cavity. Number three, what is the alveolar bone? Alveolar bones are the supporting structures of the teeth that locate a tooth's position in its socket secure. Let's speak of the surfaces of teeth. For the front side of the teeth, there are labial, which are for incisors and canines, and buccal or facial, for the molars and premolars, which are the posterior teeth. Up next, let's speak about the rear side of the rear surfaces. There are palatal surfaces for the maxillary or the upper jaw and lingual surfaces for the mandibular or the lower jaws. It's important to clean in between the teeth, hence let's speak about the proximal surfaces. The proximal surfaces are divided into mesial, mesial which is the closer to the midline of the jaw and distal which is the surface away from the midline of the jaw but between the teeth. Make sure you clean them too. Now let's speak about the chewing surface or masticatory surfaces of teeth, incisal surface for the anterior teeth which are for tearing and occlusal surfaces of the posterior teeth which are for grinding. Both same for upper and lower. The areas of the teeth, the vertical dimension of a tooth is divided into three sections, cervical which is the gum line region, middle and then the occlusal or incisor surface which we use as functional surfaces or areas of the tooth. There are four different types of teeth, incisors, canines, molars and premolars. They are both upper and lower jaws and on each quadrant named according to their location. Parts of teeth, crown teeth, crown of the teeth, clinical and anatomical. Clinical is a portion of the crown exposed in the oral cavity. Anatomical crown is a portion either exposed or hidden. Same goes with the roots. Clinical roots is a part of the root surrounded by gingiva but not within the bone. Anatomical root is root covered with cementum entire root including ones within the bones and surrounded by gingiva as well now tissues of teeth enamel enamel is the outermost surface of the tooth it is the strongest it is avascular acellular translucent and it envelopes the dentine and pulp number two dentine it envelopes the pulp protects it it is a living tissue it is a second second strongest structure in oral cavity it is present in crown and root both and it is responsible for sensitivity number three pulp it is the home to the bloods and the nerves of the tooth it is a nutrition provider it is alive it is existing in canals and chambers 
cementum it is the enamel of the root it covers all dentine and pulp in the root protects it stays in the socket and is attached to the socket by periodontal ligaments it is both cellular and acellular well thank you for listening and here is a link below for you to derive the free notes package for today's topic thank you We hope you found our lesson simple to learn and easy to grasp. Since this is our first episode, we would really appreciate your feedback in order for us to improve upon in the next segment. Don't hesitate to suggest any topics you'd like to learn. Also, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe and help us reach out all those students who are in need of such lessons and quench their thirst of knowledge. Oh, and before I forget, as we promised, a set of printable notes are present on the links below. All you have to do is go on Facebook and Instagram with the links below. Follow us and like us in order for you to retrieve a printable set of these notes, either by a photo or a PDF. Until then, keep brushing and see you next time.